Is there something about females that you wanted to know but could never figure out? Are you struggling with relationships? Do you feel like you're being taken advantage of by the women in your life? Do you want to know how to leverage the playing field to your favor? Well, did you know that the female mind and the female psyche are mysterious and unexplored regions like the dark web of the internet? For this reason, men need a method of decrypting or hacking the manipulative psyche or dark web of the female mind. Once a man has a deep understanding of true female nature, he will then be able to hack her programming. Access granted. The purpose of this book is to help grown males evolve into men so that they can treat the women in their lives accordingly. You win. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of the Red Pill Show and Show. I'm your braggadocious, very humble host, the Red Pill Show. This episode is all about being blessed. Be blessed. You know, being blessed is a mindset. It's not luck. A lot of people believe to be blessed is to be lucky. I say to be blessed is a mindset. What I mean by that? This whole life, this whole world is a frequency. It's vibes, as they say, right? It's vibes. You know what I mean? It's like a wave up and down. When you talking about light, sound, everything is a frequency, a vibe. You have to be mindful of what frequency you're on. Yeah. Like a radio. You got to control your frequency. What I mean by that? You know, a lot of people will advocate say it to uh to live to live under the frequency of love i agree with that living the frequency of love you know what i'm saying like basically no hate you always find the good the good is something the frequency of love you could you could you could live in the frequency of peace you know what i mean you don't want no war no arguments you're not the argumentative type you know what I mean? Real, uh, 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 no, 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 know how to work your way around the argument pretty much. You can avoid the argument. Living in the, living in the, in the frequency of happiness. That means even in the bad situations, you might even, you might chuckle a little bit. The only thing that probably gets me upset is like death. Death is permanent. Set, but any other time, man, I find a way to tap into the frequency of happiness. But with all that said, we'll see that I want to stress the most above above the first three that I said will be the frequency of gratitude. Gratitude. Why? 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 Why do I say that above all? Gratitude is a very powerful emotion. Gratitude helps attract more of what you want. You know what I mean? Too many times when you ask somebody what they like, they'll tell you what they don't like. Many times you ask somebody what they want, they'll tell you what they don't want. Here's a little secret for y'all, man. The universe is listening to your calling, listening to, to your words. The universe does not understand the word no. Does not, more specifically, does not understand, understand the word not. So what does that sound like to the universe? When you say, I do not want traffic, what you're really saying to the universe is, I do want traffic. 
I don't want to get robbed. I do not want to get robbed. What you telling the universe, especially if you're constantly thinking this in your head, what you really telling the universe? I do want to get robbed. Okay, so keep that in mind, man. Your mindset is, is you are the director of your life. Be mindful of your thoughts because your thoughts direct your life as to what is what it's going to be. You tell the universe, aka the genie, what you want. We're back to gratitude. When you when you live in the frequency or you operate in the frequency of gratitude, you perceive life a little a little different. You perceive life a little different. But I'm, what I mean by different is this. You know how I say, you know, I don't take L's. L's as in losses. Anything that occurs to me is always an L, meaning a lesson. Hopefully an LL, lesson learned. So, be grateful, be, grat be, 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 be gracious. Anything and everything that happens to you. Try to take anything and everything as a lesson. Like I went to Columbia recently, left my ATM card in the ATM. And I'll tell you about frequency of love, peace, and happiness, right? Frequency of love. I say, yo, the person who finds my card is going to show me love. It ain't going to fuck with my account, man. That's, that's, on, that's on everything. That's what, I, that's what I was feeling in my soul. That's the love part. Peace. I'm not about to go to the, back to that bank, the ATM. Yo, show me the fucking cameras. Let me see this. Let me see that. Ah. Instead of the, the war, I went peaceful. Like, let me chill right here, man. Fuck it. Let me drink a beer, man. Real quick, just to calm me down. Everything gonna be our happiness. <laughs> so. It's easier said than done, but you know, long story short, I, 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 I invited a friend of mine over that night and she made me happy. And I mean, I was already happy knowing that, you know, not knowing, but feeling that no, nothing's gonna happen to uh, my big kind anything like that, but. Ain't nothing wrong with bringing reinforcements. Her. Be, be, frequency of gratitude. Wake up in the morning, be thankful for waking up. Cause you gotta be, yo, and I'm being serious when I say this, man. The reason why I made this episode is because I, I feel that it's very important for people to be gra gracious and be uh, 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 grateful. Be grateful for their lives, man. Now you might say like, Yo, I don't got six figures off PC. Yo, off PC, I ain't driving a, a, a luxury car. Off PC, I'm still living with my mom. Obviously, I don't got a girl. This time I'm flipping for you, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me be the example. So, what's the first thing I said? Oh, one of the things I said. Oh, I don't have a girl. Be, be, be grateful for that. Cause maybe the universe is trying to tell you that now is your time to get to know you. The universe is like, if I throw a girl in the mix now, you ain't never gonna get to know you. You're gonna be you're gonna, you're gonna be a puppet to us, you know. I'm giving you a time now. I mean, uh, uh, I'm living I'm living in my mom's basement right now. All right then, living in your mom's basement. Basement, say some bread then. Now's the time to say bread. Don't be don't be trying to wild out in the clubs every weekend trying to show you a big baller. Nah, man, live a, a live a minimalist lifestyle so you can get up out of there. So my thing is, man, if you're grateful. Now, grateful and being comfortable is two different things. I'm not saying you should be comfortable living in your mama's basement. But be grateful that you have a place to stay. I've been homeless before, man. That shit ain't, that shit ain't fun. You know what I mean, it was for my time being homeless, my time living away from home that made me realize, like, I should have been more grateful for the things that I received. You know what I mean, my, from, as far as my education, two-parent home, all that stuff, man. Guaranteed meal on the, on the table. But um, what I'm gonna leave you with as far as like operating in, in, in the frequency of gratitude, I could bring up my situation with the medical school, man. Gratitude. So 
Long story short, as you know, I was, I was dismissed from medical school, man. But anyway, at that time, you know, I was really upset. I mean, really upset and, and extremely depressed. I'm gonna do an episode on that as far as the depression that I went through. But I'll bring up the medical school situation because, again, at the time I looked at it as a tragedy. As a tragedy, like, I spent more than a decade trying to get to that, to get to that spot and to fail and not achieve my goal. To me, that's a tragedy, because that's the first time I never had not achieved my goal. Operating in gratitude today. I'm so thankful that shit happened, man. <laughs> I'm so thankful, man. Like, if I knew I would be like this, like, I'd be looking back and be like, damn, why the hell did I feel so depressed? Like, I should have been taking that, instead of me moping around, I should have been taking that time to work on my body. You know what I'm saying? Work out. I had plenty of time during the day. I knew, at that time, I had like a, uh, a part time job where I worked four hours a day from like, from like 12 to 4, 12 in the afternoon to 4 p.m. I had the rest of the day to myself, man. I could have I built up my body, man, but I didn't. But now looking back, just to just to get back on top, of it, I'm 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 gracious. I'm 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 grateful that that happened, and that's and that's that's what I want to impart to you. Anything and everything that happens in your life is for a reason. And what you gotta understand is, you're the one that brought it to yourself. It's your mind that brought it to you. Good, bad, or indifferent. Anything and everything that happens in your life is because of you. I recommended the book, The Temp Insight. It describes that. You are the director. You are the captain. You are the captain of your life. So, that's one time where I thought, thought something was tragic. And it ended up being a blessing. Be blessed. Just like with my long-term relationship. When it first ended, I was like, oh man. Like, damn, life's gonna be a little hard now because now I gotta do everything dolo. It's not gonna be 50 50 splitting the bills, you know what I mean? So at the time, I was like, ah! Looking back now, that's one of the best moments in my life, man. Because she freed me. Being this Miss Mesco freed me. You know what I mean? If I was a surgeon right now, I would have so many restrictions on me as far as like, I mean, whether it be my, my work schedule. Uh, 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 my appearance in public, you know what I mean? I would have to. Uh, my patients would prefer me to dress a certain way. I wouldn't have liked that at all. I would have had to put a mask on to go to work. A lot of these, no, I'm gonna keep it 100, man. I'm a, I'm a hood, I'm a hood dude, man. I'm a hood dude, but I know how to move in, in the corporate offices. You know what I'm saying? But that's not me, though. I'd have to put the corporate mask on. So. I guess what I want to impart to you is, as far as the, uh, the frequency of gratitude, you got to be thankful for everything that happens to you, good or bad. They say you can't grow where you're comfortable. So maybe where you're at, you're too comfortable, fam. It's time to get uncomfortable. I know I had the best ideas. I know I had the, 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 the strongest hustling mentality when I was uncomfortable. So even when you're uncomfortable, be grateful. Even when you lose something, be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Because anything and everything that occurs to you, man, is a lesson in your life that you will teach it to yourself. You just gotta open your eyes and see it. Be grateful. That bitch left you, ha! be grateful. That means she leaving a slot for a better bitch to come in. Be grateful. Your, 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 your boy said, you know what I mean? Because you red pill mind, he can't fuck with you no more. Good. Good riddance. You know what I mean? It's time for another new friend to come in. Your job just fired you. Good. That gives you an opportunity to open up your own business. It gives you an opportunity to, 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 to better yourself and, and get a better career. Everything happens for a reason, people. I'm leaving you with that. Be great. Be blessed. Be grateful. RPC. Is there something about females that you wanted to know but could never figure out? 
Are you struggling with relationships? Do you feel like you're being taken advantage of by the women in your life? Do you want to know how to leverage the playing field to your favor? Well, did you know that the female mind and the female psyche are mysterious and unexplored regions like the dark web of the internet? For this reason, men need a method of decrypting or hacking the manipulative psyche or dark web of the female mind. Once a man has a deep understanding of true female nature, he will then be able to hack her programming. Access granted. The purpose of this book is to help grown males evolve into men so that they can treat the women in their lives accordingly. You win.